hello everyone and welcome back to the carp commander youtube channel today we are back out here at lakeview 2 once again for just another little carp fishing session and it's the first week of april the water is finally heating up after a long long winter bite and the fish are back on rice and they're starting to rip pretty good um i actually got here like 20 minutes ago and within 10 minutes i had the first carp of the day on a nice ball of rice so I'll show you all that fish now and we'll move on with the video. This first fish of the day, 10 minutes in, probably about 9, 8 pounds, you know, around that area. Not real big, but he's a good starter. He fought good. And literally, I, I threw my rods out and I was about to start filming the intro for this video. And that pole just stood straight out. I literally just threw it out. So I think we're going to have a good day. But I'll see you all with the next fish. Oh shit, fish on. Dude, we're about to stink them. We're about to catch the hell out of this fish. Ooh! I got the camera rolling too. We're about to catch the hell out of them. Hey. Oh, it's going. Just unplug it and pick it up. I got that run on camera. Are we gonna have a badass day? Alright guys, this is the second fish of the day on. Um, and as you guys can tell, it just ran. And I ran over here like crazy. It's been about 30 minutes since the last fish, and it's definitely a carp. It's coming in quick, so I'm not sure what he's doing. But... I'm coming in quick. Hit the road. He's running at me. He's got to turn around soon. He's confused, man. It's got to be that fucking way. Alright guys, we got a carp on. We just had that catfish a few minutes ago and I was just sitting here rebaiting that pole and the clip just touched it. Just like that. We got a carp. Oh yeah. Whoa. Technique. <laughs> Taking me for a ride. Look okay, at he's still going. How deep is it right there? Probably about eight feet. Who's he getting it? Yeah guys, fighting these carp on bait casters isn't quite as noisy as it is on the spinners, you know, they make a big deal about it. When you got a big old nine foot rod that's flexible and you have the loud drag, but everything is still happening. You just can't hear it or really tell because this rod is about as stiff as a tree trunk, so. Oh well. They're still fighting good. Is that what I think it is? It's just a little carp. Oh. It's not big. It's one of those little seven pound fighters. Dude, he's ripping one. Good lord. Burnt rubber is back for year two. And that one was just plain burnt rubber. This fish is not giving up. 
illustration. Yeah, he's not this fish ain't no giant. He, he's you gonna, better stop playing with his little you know. He's not gonna pull drag on camera, but he's gonna pull drag when he's not on camera. <laughs> oh, no. oh, he's going. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh. I had to get the stork in the, this fish in is the angle. Gone. He's gone. He's taking me right towards that snag. I'm gonna thumb it. Can't let him take me into that. He almost had me snagged for a second though. He knows exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. play games like that. Yo, these are heavy action rods. Like anyone who uses a BPS graphite series, heavy action. You know these things are built like a freaking tank. Look at the bend in that. This fish ain't no joke. Right, he's done. He's healthy. Not big, but healthy. This nice, what, maybe 10, 12 pound football looking fish just put up a heck of a fight, but you know, pretty average Lakeview 2 fish. All right, guys, so that is carp number two. So we have two carp, one catfish, and Brandon just got here, so I think the amount of carp is going to increase real quick. The carp are swirling everywhere, they're biting good, and there's a rain system coming in, and it's foggy. The pressure is perfect, the water is perfect, everything is perfect, it's lining up good. So we should put a few more on the bank and I'll show you all what we catch. Brandon's got one on down here. So I guess I'll go net that for him. <laughs> what did he barely lift that pole up? No, I was just walking over here thinking about switching bait. Oh. And I was about to grab the pole and I was like, damn, yeah, it went up. Is that your grape? Yeah. All right. Guys, all these fish have been coming off of Thai Bugs pickups today. So if y'all haven't checked them out already, please do. They're, they're the truth. They're, Thank you, Thai Bugs. They're very well made. They're convenient. They're in nice little containers and they work. So. And in a second, we'll show you what, what, we're, what the combinations we're using are on them today. And they work great. First, let's get this fish in. Yeah, you better do that. Let me get on the other side of here. It's gotta be a baby. Well, that's what you always say, and then a 17 pounder comes out, so. Maybe he's just a, a lazy fat. Maybe. He's gotta be a baby. I don't know why, but every video I filmed here in like the last six months, it's been like dreary weather. I need a sunny video, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. come up here and see the bank and then they put a bend in that rod dang there he is he ain't fighting too much no get over here oh come here boy get over here. <laughs> ain't no way you're using a round weight right now yeah. We got him. Get him to the mat. 
So while we were fighting that fish, I'm sure you heard us talking about tie bugs pickups. So right now we're going to do a little segment on what we're using, what kind of tie bugs pickups and what kind of bait. So I'll show you all that. All right, guys. So today we're out here uh, at Lakeview 2. The rice, the rice bite is, is on. It has been for the last couple of weeks. Today uh, I got these uh, tie bugs pickups that we're using. And I made this rice uh, not too long ago, uh, probably about three days ago. It's also great. It's got a few other things in there, but I ain't going to go into all that. Uh, I'm also pairing the Tie Bug Specials with this peach banana rice that I made. And uh, they're really working very well. These have actually worked uh, in a few of the baits I've thrown. I'm, all, I'm almost out of my other rice, but uh, I've paired these with a bunch of different different flavors. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Tie Bug. You, you really, you know, man, you, these, these work. These are great. We appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep throwing them. All right, guys, and then what I'm using is basically Tie Bug Specials pickups, but I'm pairing them with my own line of grape rice, and I call it BG Baits, and it's just normal grape rice. Um, call our Texas number if you're interested. Uh, clearly, I'm catching fish on it. All the carp I've caught this morning have been on this bait paired with Tie Bug Specials. So the stuff is working, and I really love the containers these come in. They're really convenient, and every pickup is pretty much just as consistent as the one you used before. I would really highly recommend using these. They work great. So that's about it, y'all. Back to fishing. We got them, guys. Came off. Hey, are you sure you don't want to leave the point? Oh, he came off? Came off. Dang. Well, guys, that's... He's gone. All right, guys, we got a double on. I've got one on, and Brandon's got a real big one on. So we're going to get him in the net. And shouldn't be a problem. I don't know how big mine is. Uh, the way Brandon's is fighting, you're getting his in first. I'm going to get mine in first. Well, you're going to get yours in first. <laughs> I'm just going to horse mine in. He's not He's a bucket tank. Hey buddy, you want to learn how to net a fish? Uh uh, not this one. <laughs> no, you not that one. one. There's an extra net too if you need it. Watch your finger, it's covering the camera. Yeah. This one's tiny. I got a tiny little car park. Yeah, yeah. Hold that. Yeah. Yeah, just go up to him and just got him. That's a little one compared to what is. That's a little one compared to what might be on his hook. Guys, we just landed the fish that I think is called Big Mama. What is it, like 18 pounds? Uh, somewhere. Up We're gonna weigh it, but then I have this one over here that I just landed. He's probably five, six, tiny little fish, but you know, they're fun. We're gonna get that one weighed. I'll get this one back in the water and I'll see y'all when that's done. Well, guys, last time we weighed this fish, she was 17.6. Now she's 17.8, so. I guess chow season did some good, and congrats to Brandon on that fish. You want to hold him up? Beautiful fish. Massive. Look at the camera. There we go. Nice, man. Let's get him back in. Well, guys, two more nice fish on the bank. Uh, congrats to Brandon for catching the pig of the day. That's a nice fish. Um... I don't have any more room for storage on my phone, so this is going to be probably the last few fish you're going to see. So, you know, if I can fit more, you'll see another fish. If I can't, it'll be the end of the video. All right, guys, I had enough storage room for just one more fish. So we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy in. He just picked the pole up like, you know, maybe, what, 30 seconds ago? Ball of grape rice with a little bit of secret sauce on there, Thai bug pickup, you know. Tie bug, tie bug. He's running. You might want to get the net before. Oh, yeah, up. let me go get that. Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about. Big fish right now.
Where is he going? Could it have something to do with these pickups? I don't know. They're don't catching know. big fish know. out of here. I mean, they're catching lots of fish. I don't know if it's the pickups or the bait or what it is, but. It can't be our bait. We make terrible bait. <laughs> well, I mean, some people tell you pickups don't matter. Some people tell you that bait matters more than pickups and pickups. But no. really all it is, is you got to balance them both. Yep. And you got to pair the right pickup with the right bait. Sometimes plain pickups work. Sometimes flavor ones work. Yes. I've it's caught different. I've caught most of my fish off plain pops. But you know, you just gotta kinda experiment with it. And if you find something you like, then go with it and keep fishing. Whatever works for you is the best option. Don't do what other people do. This is a bigger fish. Well, if we get run out of room, I know one thing. We'll definitely take a picture of it and we'll get it in the video. Yeah. So it's it's a really seems like a really big fish to be honest. It's really pulling. So we'll definitely get a picture of it. And if it's if it's decent size for sure, like I think it is, we'll put it on the scale and we'll take a picture of that too. Well, Daniel left, so Oh did he leave? He did. Well, I guess we won't be putting it on the scale. It doesn't matter. We can guess. I mean, that last fish I said 18 pounds. That was, was like 40, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you see that? I think the skeleton is something. I think it was like a 40. Yeah. Some people might not agree with my weight estimations on fish, but unfortunately, if you don't agree with what I say, you weren't there to touch the fish, and I do not give a shit. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for saying. Oh, 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 my keychain jumping down there. Really? Wouldn't that be something? Two doubles? Two doubles. Maybe a triple. Yeah, that last one did jump. So that's three on the grape rice, two on the cart buster rice, and one on the BBB. I can shout out Kelly, too. I'll go ahead and shout out Kelly. She sent me some wicked flavorings. I got those in the mail. I was going to kind of keep that as a secret to myself, but... I got a few flavors out there that I'm not going to scream about to everybody, but yes, they absolutely work great too. Thank you, Kelly. Big shit, big love. Thank you. Team Wicked. Yes, get up, baby. <laughs> that stuff smells fire, y'all. If you haven't tried the Wicked flavors, you need to go get you some. It is retarded. No, I'm more of a Bubba's hog bait kind of guy. You That's better tell them. Honestly, every flavoring company yep. has some good baits. Yep. Every single one. However, Get there, bent. Are, there are a few flavoring companies that are exceptional. And I will tell you that. Uh, Get bent. Josh Vickers, show him some love. Get bent. We've caught a lot of big pig fish off of off of Get Bent flavors. That's a pig. Hog sauce. You better get it at them. You know I love my dang Jive Turkey Bubble. That's all they know. They don't know nothing. I don't know the name of it. They just know it's Jive Turkey Even though it's Boy. It's one of the more popular flavors they sell, if you want a hint. But, uh, There's a lot of their flavors that are most popular. Like I go on the website and they're the most yeah. popular, most popular. I'm like, okay, so everything's most popular. I don't blame them because all, all works. They, they make great flavors. Yeah, I mean, we were throwing spearmint millet out here last fall and catching fish on it. Spear millet. I can tell you one thing there probably aren't many places where you can just put spearmint and millet and catch fish. So. Spear millet. Shout out to Jazz Sky on the buff candy. That's buff candy spearmint. Look at that. Everybody. Might See, well everybody shout, makes shout good Shout out food. everyone. Yeah, everybody gets a fucking shout out. Good lord. This pig. All right, guys. Beautiful fish here. About 11 pounds. Healthy. Good tail on them. Good fins. But. We'll get them back in. Great fight, guys. Well, guys, we've got some rain moving in. The fish really did slow down with their bite. So uh, we think they're kind of done. We're going to get out of here soon. But I think this concludes today's video. Short and sweet, but we caught a few carp, so no problem there. But I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.